Well, hi everyone. My name is Jonathan Lehman, and I'm the product manager of GiftWorks. And it's my privilege today to show you the latest feature we've added to GiftWorks 2014, integration with Artez. Now, as many of you are aware, GiftWorks, along with Artez Interactive, was acquired by Front Street Payments back in August. Front Street Payments has become a leader in providing integrated solutions for nonprofit organizations. Front Street Payments includes a family of companies that support nonprofits, and these include First Giving, Artez Interactive, and of course, GiftWorks. And the Front Street family of companies offer a diverse and robust set of solutions to help nonprofits fundraise, including many online fundraising solutions. And over the past several months, we've been working to integrate these different solutions with GiftWorks. And this allows you, the nonprofit organization, to have a comprehensive solution to raise money, build relationships with your donors, to do targeted solicitations, and then track and report on your fundraising efforts. First Giving, one of the FundStream companies, offers many online fundraising solutions, and this includes peer-to-peer -peer and event-based fundraising, fundraising, and also the simple Donate Now page where you can collect donations online. First Giving integration was introduced along with GiftWorks 2014 back in August. One of the features of First Giving is, is it offers a free account, um, some free services where you can process credit cards right inside GiftWorks and configure and host a free online donations page. And this will, and you can then add a button to your website or put in a link in an email or, or in social media connections. It also offers a paid account where you can do full peer-to-peer -peer fundraising and have access to those features. And the great thing is that any donations that are collected online via any of these methods uh, that are collected online for, uh, for your account can be easily downloaded into GiftWorks. Frontstream Payments also includes a, a, a platform called the Fast Transact platform. And this is a payment processing and data management platform that includes one of the most secure and robust and versatile payment gateway products on the market today. And GiftWorks integration with Fast Transact was released at the end of 2013. And what does this provide? Well, with a Fast Transact account, um, this platform allows you to configure a highly customizable branded donation page to collect online donations for your organization. And then you can add a button to your website or you can provide a link in your organization's emails or other social media connections. Some of the distinguishing features of Fast Transact is it has direct funding from a merchant account, and this means that your donation funds are available to you more quickly. And you can also you can accept ACH in addition to credit card transactions on your donation page. But just like First Giving, any donations collected on this page can be downloaded into GiftWorks, and credit cards can be processed in GiftWorks using Fast Transact. And I encourage you to check out these two integrations that are current that are already in place by going to our knowledge base and reviewing the first giving or the fast transact integration videos that's in that's on our website in uh, under the giftworks knowledge base artez interactive what we're here to talk about today is an, another fun stream company that was acquired back in august along with giftworks and they are a leader in providing online fundraising solution they bring online social and mobile fundraising together on the one plan on the one platform so Artez has many online fundraising um, solutions and features from a, do a Donate Now donation form that can be fully customizable and branded for your organization. They provide run, walk, ride fundraising, mobile fundraising, tribute and memorial giving, and Facebook fundraising, and a lot more. And the great thing, again, is the, the features I'm going to show you today is that just like First Giving and Fast Transact, that any donations that are collected uh, for your Artez account, will be able to will be able to be easily downloaded into GiftWorks. So that's what I'm going to show you today, and so let's get started with that. So now we need to go back over to GiftWorks, and we need to sign into our GiftWorks database. To be able to activate the GiftWorks integration with Artez Interactive, we need to do some configuration in the settings area. So we click in Settings, Tools, Updates, and Integration. There's an option here called Artez Interactive Integration. We click on that, and you can see it's asking us for some credentials. 
Now, in order to have these credentials, you need to have an Artez Interactive account. If you don't already have an Artez Interactive account, you can click on this link, and that will bring you back to this page here where, that we were on before, which provides information um, about the, the Artez products. You can request a demo. It gives you contact information to, um, to talk to individuals there, and they can get you set up with an Artez Interactive account. So once you have an Artez Interactive account, you come back to GifWorks, you'll need to enter um, these credentials into GifWorks, the organization ID, the password, and the server. If you don't know that information, that is available by, by signing into your Artez Interactive account online. So if you go into your Artez Interactive account online, you would, you, would, you would have been given an organization ID, a username, and password to log in. So you'll log into your Artez Interactive account, and you'll go to a configuration tab, and there's, there's an, an option called API Setup and Configuration. This provides you the information that you need to use the GifWorks integration. So it gives you the organization ID. So let's go back over to GifWorks. I'm going to copy that back, back over here to GifWorks. That's the organization ID. This password, or another name for that, is like is an API key. It gives you access to GifWorks for that organization. And then normally you would have a server name here, but since we're working with a test environment, um, my server is, is QA. It's the only option available. In the production environment, you will have um, different servers that are available depending on how you are set up, and that will be available here, and you would enter that here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Verify. It brings up a Terms and Conditions page, which I uh, provides the terms and conditions under which th this integration is provided. Once you've read that and accepted that agreement, you simply click Accept Agreement. And now all the Artez interactive features have been enabled. So as donations are collected, as you're using um, the Artez interactive solutions, as donations are being collected into, into your account, you will then be able to download those donations into GiftWorks. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to just demonstrate that by showing you the simple Donate Now page that has been configured for this page, for this uh, account. So here's a, a donor who has, maybe they clicked on a button on your, on your website, or they clicked on a link that you sent them in an email or on a social media page, and they brought them up to their Donate Now page. They have entered their information here for the donation. This is Sally Smith. And credit card information. They click Continue. And we're going to go ahead and complete that donation. And it's so that donation is now complete. So that donation has now been received by the organization and is now available available to be downloaded into GiftWorks. Now to download your donations into GiftWorks, you can either uh, right here from this from the same uh, from our setup area, there's an option here to click your click here to download donations into GiftWorks, or we can go go over to the donations tab, and there's an option here to download from Artez Interactive. So when we do that, it's going to go find. Um, up to 200 transactions, new, new transactions that have not been downloaded already, and it's going to be from the most recent to the oldest. So bring those up, and click Next. You'll see here that you see the donation I just made, that Sally Smith just made, so that is now available to be downloaded into GiftWorks. You have different options. You don't have to download all these donations at once if you don't want. I'm going to uncheck all these. I don't want, for this demonstration, I don't want to download all of them. So I'm going to just download this. I'm checking that I just want to download this one. You can see I have some basic information about that donation. I can uh, I can edit the transaction if I need to. You, this is not an option you use very often, but you can go in there and you can see the information, uh, the the name and address information, the email, the phone. You can see the information about the billing address for the credit card, and you can see that the, the donation was made on the 28th. Uh, the donation amount. Uh, there could be a directed purpose. And you see the payment method was a credit card and uh, by uh, Visa credit card, and you see the payment name. And in some cases, depending where the transactions came from, you might have the last four digits of the credit card number. So those are I that's information you can update about the transaction if you need to. That's not typically you you wouldn't do that a whole lot. One of the the main features to understand is that it will try to, it, it looks at these uh, these donations that are coming down and the name of the of the donor. And it will try to match them up to an existing donor in GiftWorks. So you have, right now, it, it does not find a S Sally Smith in GiftWorks. 
If it did, here's an example of a donation given by Jonathan Lehman, and it actually found the Jonathan Lehman in GiftWorks, and it's saying it's going to attach that to that Jonathan Lehman in GiftWorks. In this case, Sally Smith was not found, so it says it's going to add a new donor. I have some options, though. You, I, the default option is to let GiftWorks decide and try to match it up. But if, for instance, you know that even though it didn't find a Sally Smith, maybe you have another, uh, maybe you have a, a different spelling of Sally Smith or a different name, that you know that that, that donor is actually out there, um, you could go select a different donor and say, uh, I want to, this doesn't, uh, I, I want to sign this, uh, this says Sally Smith, I really know that this is Sarah Blaine. That's not a very good example. But you could actually choose the actual donor you'd want that to be assigned to, so you could sort of override that. Or you can say, even if there is another Sally Smith, so let me do this, let me go back, e even though it found a match down here for Jonathan Lehman, and it says it's going gonna, it's gonna to attribute that donation to the Jonathan Lehman that's currently in GiftWorks, if you say, no, I know there's another Jonathan Lehman there, I don't, this is a new Jonathan Lehman, for whatever reason you know that, you can say always add a new donor. So you have some choices about how it matches the donors. The default is to let GiftWorks decide. So in this case, we're just going to download um, the Sally Smith donation for $1. We're going to let GiftWorks decide, so it's going to add a new donor. I'm going to click Next. On the next page, for any of the donations that we've checked on the previous page that we're going to include in this download, we have the option to choose what fund we want to associate that with and what campaign and what appeal. So you can sort of batch these up if you need to and assign a set of these donations to a certain fund campaign and appeal. You have some choices for how you want to receipt these. We'll just we'll just use um, individual donor defaults for issuing receipts depending uh, based on what the, the donor has chosen. In this case, since it's a new donor, it'll just basically be what our default is for our, our organization. And then you can, you can decide whether or not you want to add this donation to the thank you letter mailing list so you can thank them through GiftWorks. And also whether you want to add that donor to any other mailing list. In this case, we'll add her to the welcome letter since she's new. So once you've made those choices, you can go ahead and click Next. You can go to the Download, donate, download Transactions option. And it shows the donation that we've selected. You can download, you can click Download Transactions. It will go ahead and download that donation. And once it's been downloaded, it, um, it, it's been it, it gets marked. So we mark that donation that's already been downloaded, so it will not show up again. And I'll show you that. But that donation has now been successfully downloaded. You see a summary page here which summarizes the donations we've downloaded so far. We are able to go back if we need. And I'm just try to click back too far. Um, you can see here it reloads this page, and it shows that I've already downloaded Sally. It, it's still part of sort of this 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 batch I'm working with. I've already downloaded Sally. I could go choose to download more if I wanted to. Now, if I exit that, and notice that Sally's message has been grayed out. He's already been downloaded. That donation's already been downloaded. If I cancel this, I come back in say tomorrow or you know an hour later, and I download again. You'll see it still has 200 transactions because there's a lot of transactions in this account, most recent, oldest, and you'll see the Sma Sally Smith donation is no longer there because I've already downloaded it. So the important thing to understand is that you, it collects all the donations that have not, that have not previously been downloaded to GiftWorks. So now we can, we can go over to our Donations tab and view latest donations, and there's Sally Smith. That donation was now added to GiftWorks. So you can see it has the shows it was an Arteza online credit card, the fund that we assigned it to, the amount. You see it was a Visa, we, uh, the transaction ID that came in from, from Arteza Interactive. And so there's our donation to GiftWorks. So you can see it's very easy to download any donations that are collected uh, into your Artez account can be easily downloaded into GiftWorks. And remember, I showed you a donation that was entered through the do Donate Now page, but this would include donations that are received through, through tributes or through um, events. Um, however, however donations um, get, get added to your account, those donations will all be available to download easily into GiftWorks. So that's an overview of the GiftWorks integration with Artez Interactive. So in summary, GiftWorks 2014 provides integration with Artez. Artez provides online fundraising solutions to help collect donations for your organization. Those donations can be easily downloaded into GiftWorks. And depending on the options or the, the solutions you're using, there will be a monthly fee and a percent charge per transaction. And if you want more information, and we're going to explore this further, we encourage you to please contact our GiftWorks sales team for more information. 
You can phone them at 1-800-323-8766, option two, or you can email them at sales at giftworksconnect.com. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and uh, for learning about the GiftWorks integration with Artez Interactive. And we're confident that the solutions that, that are provided through GiftWorks and Artez Interactive and First Giving and Fast Transact uh, will help your organization in their fundraising efforts and to be able to spend more time on your mission and doing what's important to you. And so we thank you again for watching this video and have a great day.